Step down from heaven. Humbly you came, God of all creation, here with us in a starlit manger. Christ the Lord, that all 
Hello and uh, welcome. My name is David. I'm a pastor here at Hope East and we want to welcome you to our Christmas Eve service. Um, I love Christmas Eve service because it's it's a time where we really remember why it is that we celebrate Christmas. And so I know it can be busy during this time of the year with preparations and gatherings. Uh, but for tonight, let's really just remember why it is uh, that we celebrate this day. And we can also reflect on the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And so as we are now in the part of the story where we're anticipating and waiting, uh, I can feel the excitement uh, as we're going through the story. Um, I want to encourage you to go get a candle. If you have a candle around the house, go get a candle. If you don't, that's totally fine. Uh, we'll be lighting a candle on this end soon. But uh, if you do, go and go get one and bring one back. Uh, maybe you want to dim the lights a little bit. Uh, and when we light that candle, you can light it with us. And so this is an exciting time once again. And I want to just encourage you um, that this is not just simply a story that we're seeing unfold, but rather this is your story. This is your salvation story. This is your savior story. And so the beauty of the Christmas story is that it's not just simply a story that we get to see and trek along with, but it's a story that we get to connect with. This is the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And so once again, I want to encourage you to uh, not only just uh, listen to the story and visualize the story, but also get immersed into the story uh, as we anticipate and we wait for the coming of our Lord and Savior. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lowly exile here. Until the Son of God appear. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. O come, thou day spring, come and cheer our spirits by thine advent here. Disperse the gloomy clouds of night, and as dark shadows put to flight. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. O come, desire of nations by all peoples in one heart and mind bid envy strife and quarrel cease fill the whole world with heaven's peace rejoice rejoice Emmanuel shall come to thee is coming soon. Call back the sinner, wake up the saint, let every nation shout of your fame. Jesus is coming
A reading from the book of Genesis. Then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day. They hid from the Lord God among the trees of the garden, but the Lord God called to the man, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid. And he said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree that I commanded you not to eat from? The man said, The woman you put here with me, she gave me some fruit from the tree, and I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this you have done? The woman said, The serpent deceived me, and I ate. So the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you above all the livestock and all the wild animals. You will crawl on your belly and you will eat dust all the days of your life. And I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. He will crush your head and you will strike his heel. To the woman, he said, I will make your pains in childbearing very severe. With painful labor, you will give birth to children. Your desire will be for your husband and he will rule over you. To Adam, he said, because you listened to your wife and ate from the tree about which I commanded you, you must not eat of it. Curse is the ground because of you. Through painful toil, you will eat of it all the days of your life. It will produce thorns and thistles for you, and you will eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your brow, you will eat your food until you return to the ground. Since from it you were taken, for dust you are, and to dust you will return.
walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of the shadow of death, a light has dawned. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. A shoot will come up the stump of Jesse. From his roots, a branch will bear fruit. The spirit of the Lord will rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and of understanding, the spirit of counsel and of might, the spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord, and he will delight in the fear of the Lord. He will not judge by what he sees with his eyes or decide by what he hears with his ears. But with righteousness, he will judge the needy. With justice, he will give decisions for the poor of the earth. He will strike the earth with the rod of his mouth. With the breath of his lips, he will slay the wicked righteousness with his belt and faithfulness the sash around his waist. The wolf will live with the lamb. The leopard will lie down with the goat. And the calf and the lion and the ewe together and a little child will lead them. What child is this who laid to rest on Mary's lap is sleeping whom angels greet with anthem sweet while shepherds watch her In the sixth month, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will be with child and give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, 
and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be? Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world, and everyone went to his own town to register. Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him 
and expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the child to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests.
to remind us that on Christmas Day, we remember and celebrate the coming of God's promised Savior, Christ the Lord. Now we're going to go to light the candle. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have worked salvation for him. The Lord has made his salvation known and revealed his righteousness to the nations. He has remembered his love and his faithfulness to the house of Israel. And all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout with joy to the Lord, all the earth, and burst into jubilant song with music. As we celebrate Christmas, we welcome and receive God's great gift to us. Jesus who is born as great as God's promise to become our Savior. Holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. sin and error pining till he appeared and the soul felt its worth a thrill of hope the weary world rejoices for yonder breaks a new Whoa! 
the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made. Without Him nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life, and that life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not understood it. There came a man who was sent from God. His name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning the light so that through him all men might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who received him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision or a husband's will, but born of God. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. Oh, and I will make room for you. 
So many songs. And he will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, of the increase of his government, and peace there will be no end. Yeah. I was praying, I was praying and I was saying, yeah. He was like, God let this be over. God let this be over. No mistakes, God, no mistakes. So, so the lights fall down and the lights make them down in the street for them and wash out the monster and then put them up. Nice try. <laughs> Let me put it down. <laughs> Always gonna see this magic tree. <laughs>